Salutations, everyone. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, of course, and thank you for joining me back here in Victoria 2. So, right now we're playing as a Tukulor Empire, a beautiful light blue country in which we are researching empiricism. Right now we've already finished idealism, but empiricism, uh, empiricism is a good thing to research right now. We are 7th in the world in military power, 35th in the world with industrial power because we are trying to build some factories, but uh, these bottling works a little difficult to get some cement for now. So, it is what it is. I've got a lot of comments to go through, but you guys suggested in the comments below, or at least in the last video, that we should go take out and puppet Brazil. Now, we can't do that yet, because they're allied to Chile, which is not a problem. They're currently fighting the Americans no, and Argentinians, and they're doing pretty well. I'm not worried about Chile. I'm a little worried about America, but that's not my main concern. My main concern is Spain, because if we look at Spain, they... Uh, have 79 score, we have 80. So they're at rank 8, we're rank 7, and I'm only rank 7 because right now I'm making a few more warships. So we can't go to war with Brazil. We'll keep them in mind though for the future because it's only 1866. We got plenty of time. But I justified and said on Bolivia because they're only allied with Paraguay. They've got 4 military score, and most importantly, no one's really trying to influence them, maybe except for America. Now, Peru. Well, they're in the sphere of America. Argentina, well, they're being influenced by a bunch of different people, and they're, they're, they are in the American sphere. So, I figured Bolivia, let's get at least a little bit of South America and take out somebody that's weak enough. But I will at least try to take out Brazil later on. That'll be a good goal. We've got our ships here, over here, and actually, I did a lot of saves coming. Hold on, let's look at this. I did a lot of saves coming. To get this puppet, this puppet war goal. Look, look, look my saves, look at that. I saved literally like, I started saving like every half month because I kept getting found out. I even restarted the game several times just to make it uh, a little bit more tolerable. But in the meantime, let's go and raise relations with the Germans because, well, I think it is another ally. We are actually allied with the UK as well, I think. Yeah, we are. Over here. Not the Netherlands, but the Tukulor Empire. Which hopefully we can do well. We're at war with Paraguay, but I think we'll do okay. We're making some money, even though. Things cost a lot of money, so I had to raise taxes a little bit, but I did lower them a little bit more, and I did lower tariffs as well, so. There we go, very good. At the same time, I'm going to send you guys home so we can pick up this army in Uruguay, who's trying to make another cannon for us. But like I said, we have quite a few comments to go through. Let's see, don't worry about simulation. That was one of the comments from yesterday. Well, okay, I guess I won't worry about it. Internal migration will make us move all over the place, so I'm not too worried about it too much. I mean, it's there for us to know and stuff, so. Hello, where are you going? Kalama? Kalama. Kalama. Oh, look at that. Did you make your thingy yet? Oh, you're super close. We might as well wait. It's not that... It's not going to take that much longer. 69 in terms of score. Not bad. Not bad. Could be better. Could, of course, be better. Oh, hello. I'm going to wait for these guys to get down here first. And then attack them. Wow. We're losing a lot of guys. Oh. That's not bueno. Come on. Get the guys down there. July 9th. There we go. And if we attack them, we could probably kill them off. Probably. Most likely. And boom. Boomerinos. Alright, how many men have we lost? 539 versus 3,000. I like the I like that a lot. And but unfortunately supply is really bad down here. It's god awful. Oh. So I will send you guys on the boat and you guys come to Anto Fagasta, addressed to Parliament. And it seems altogether pleasing, therefore, that the order long established shall prevail throughout the centuries, throughout the eras, and today. A conservative member of the upper house has addressed Parliament today with a lionizing speech to the nation and its manifold glories. Excellente or militancy? Let's lower militancy. I don't want any rebellions. I don't mind getting more consciousness. Spain. Well, Spain, you are a secondary power. We technically do have a bigger military than you and more prestige. But they do have a bigger, oh, thing than us. Industrial score. Look at that. Austria. Oh, they're allied with the Ottomans fighting the Italians. Now that is peculiar. Romania's here as well, and they have barely have access to the sea. Ismail? Ishmael. I don't really want to ally the Spaniards. I'll be honest. Can I form an alliance yet? No. Too many great power... Can you only have one great power ally? I don't want to ally them because I don't want to be called into a war that I, don't, I will regret later on. I really don't want to go, get involved with them. Uh, I mean, you guys can do that, but with my ship showing up... You're not going to like... Okay, never mind. Hey, Clipper Shipyards. Cool. Maybe we'll make some of those. Actually, to make these boats, what do we need? Oh, we're making a lot of Clipper transports. We'd, need, we'd steal steamers. That's what we could, we could really use. Uh, it's alright. You know, since we're making them, 
Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Argeo outputs. Ooh, we have another army here? Nice. Do we have another artillery? Yep. Artillery and Zanzibar infantry. Oh, that's where the Zanzibar infantry went. We have some more ships over here, which is nice. Ooh, at this point, there's so many different cultures here. What if we built this? Steel, that, and that. We don't have that, but maybe we can find... Is that lumber? Ooh, fertilizer. Is that lumber? Uh, which one was that? Now that's lumber. Was that furniture or was that lumber? Do we have any of that? We might have that RGO, and this is Africa after all. We gotta have a lot of wood down here, don't we? Wood, where are you? Where is your wood? Let's see. Maybe not. We got a lot of fruit. We got a lot of fruit and grain. Is that grain? Yeah, it's grain. I was gonna say wheat, but... It's tropical wood. Uh, uh, I see a lot of animals, and we love animals, but... Hmm... Anything down here? Nah, I can't even build stuff down there. Screw it. I'm just gonna make one. It's probably not even worth doing, but, uh... Let's put it... Oh, well, actually, since we're gonna make some... Just do it anyways. Because we can. Because we can. It's only one slot, so... Alright, come to Potosi. However you pronounce it. And, actually, you guys go to Potosi. You guys are already probably halfway there. You go to Oruro. Colonial Crisis, if you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. Very concerning, but... Oh my, it's almost tea time. Cricket later? Oh, yeah, let's do that one. Yeah, why not? Hey, look at that! Hey! Oh, we have a social reform! Look at that! We didn't even have another political reform. We had a social reform. People's ideologies are pretty liberal. Oh, that's good for us. Ooh! Ooh! Rudimentary school system, or basic school system. More assimilation, which is okay. More immigrant attraction, which is okay. But we could use more education efficiency, or we can restrict child labor. Actually, oh, but I love child labor. We get more output. If we do that, though, we get plus, basically plus 7% educational efficiency. It's still minus 3. But... Mm, the children might need jobs to pay for their parents' medical bills. Oh, trinket pensions, I mean, that's okay. We can't do healthcare, which kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. Restricted rights. Cultural rights. Assimilation. Assimilation. Nothing for non accepted. More immigrant attraction. Eh, that's okay. Oh! Do, do children need schools, or do they need jobs? I don't want to do this, but I guess child labor is restricted. I and mean, that's a 7% bonus. This would be nice and all, but this is only a 5% bonus. Actually, how much is this? 1.3%? Eh, I'll do it anyways. These children... Come on, kids. We're doing this in the name for the future. Yeah, that's what I'm going to justify that as. Post-Napoleonic Army Doctrine. Nice. More defense. We love more defense. Who's over here? Now we won the battle. Congrats. We're both over here, causing a lot of problems. Yeah. These? Oh, wait. You're both... Oh, crap. Arenos. Oh, just stay there. Just kill them off. Hey, almost 10% of the population can read. I see that as an absolute win. They can read? That is great. I got three guys there. They're not moving. It's fine with me. Let's take a look at our national spirits before we talk about national focuses, maybe. Uh, before we talk about... Oh, the comments. Let's see. We're still trying to get more administrative stuff here. I'll have them here because they have, we have this as core territory, but it's taking forever to get more bureaucrats. Yeah, it is a core territory, so. Do we have any immigration? Not really. No one wants to leave us, but no one wants to come to us. Wow, people don't like the Ottoman Empire, uh, Italy, or Russia. Oh, no. No, UK, what did you do? Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, go right ahead, guys. I'm not sure what to say about this. Do you really need to call me in into a landlocked nation all the way in, like, central and northern India? Um, guys? And there's that infantry. I don't want, I want them here. There we go. And, thank you very much. Oh, part of militant socialists. Well, good luck with that. Hey, we became six and six. Not bad. All right, so we're doing pretty well here. I'm going to send you guys to the mountains because you're probably going to die there. Uh, can we just puppet you now? Probably not. We need 20... Oh, we need a lot more score. They're nationalists over there. What else do we need? Oh, we got this army done. Nice, so nice. Oh, look at that. We can actually just put you on the boats. But we're not going to right now. At least with the UK allied to us, hopefully they don't attack us. Hopefully. Now, I'm going to put you guys near the capital because Segu still sucks in terms of supply. So this way, we have any rebels, we can put them down with extreme aggression. I'm going to split you guys in half, and put half of you guys here, so we have three, one. So we need one more infantry. 
one, and then five. Boom. Make six. Usually. We lost more conservative support. That's good. More anarcho-liberal support. Cool. 5% more liberal support. No, that's not bad. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Oh, they ran away. Okay. You know what? It's really cool. Just because we westernize and we do really well means that people want to ally us. That actually might not be bad. They already are allied with the UK. I want to leave my options open. Hey, Germany. Hey, Germany. You want uh, better relations? Hey, France. I just want to be with good relations with everyone in the world. Except those I want to conquer. Just Victoria 2 things. Oh, that was such a tough war, guys. That was such a tough war. Oh, hello. Hello. Do you have existence? No, thank you. Well, now we're dropping to 7th and then 5th. Ah, oh, we feel so good about ourselves now. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, our pop oh, literacy dropped. We didn't acquire any more territory, but our literacy still dropped. Interesting. Can we get out of this war quickly? Nope. Well, c'est la vie. It is what it is. How is our construction going? Not very good, apparently. We need more steel. We got actually quite a bit of cement, though. That's kind of nice. Cementerino. Maybe we should make a cement factory, then. Hmm. Probably wouldn't be worth it. Actually, what do we need for cement? Let's say we'll put it right here, because we can. Put it into the mountains, maybe. Mm, so we really want to build a cement factory. Well, we can't. Alright. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Seven or eight. So right now, let's look at, look at diplomacy. Great powers are... Italy's gotten pretty low. We were just below the Ottoman Empire, but Italy, they stand their battle. They have a big old industrial score, but... Oh, la, la. Oh, God, we got to do this area, too. Oh, no, no, no. Colonial progress. One of our colonies is reporting astounding success in the development of local commercial ventures and businesses to the colonial office. According to the local governor, the primary reason seems to be an ambitious land reform undertaken in tandem with Tukalor capitalists and industrialists. The colony is reportedly becoming more attractive to immigrants, and the report reflects well on our industrialists as well. Ooh, life rating. Oh, yes. Fantastic news. In Marrakesh. Ooh, yes. Maybe I might get some more immigrants, maybe. Oh, they escaped. Oh, come on. Don't escape. Don't escape civilization and progress. Actually, we're both civilized. What am I saying? I'm going crazy. And that's okay. Marrakesh. Yes, come to Marrakesh. We're building a naval base. Yes, please. Alright, so how's this looking? Not bad, not great. We, I bought a second fleet just because I think we need one. It's good to have. Alright, once we have this, then we'll get that. Hopefully we may get, might get access to Paraguay. Or Paraguay, maybe, maybe not. Because we're still fighting them. Brazil, Brazil. Oh, actually, Argentina. Oh, Argentina does not like us. Can I get military access through here? Oh, yeah. Nice. Cool. Get rid of them. And then, get rid of them. Hey, make made another boat. Bolivia, please. You're embarrassing yourself. Okay, cool. We love Bolivia. Thank you, Bolivia. Thank you for playing. Alright, let's leave Bolivia now. I'm done playing with you. And I'm done with that. So let's lower this because spending is quite a bit. But look at that. 1,500, 300, 300 some. Whee! Nice. Not bad. Alright, so we got a puppet. I'm feeling pretty good about that. But I think we need to go to war with more people. We need more territory. We need to expand our borders. Unfortunately. Oh, the Congo! Hmm, people. Go. Actually, it's quite a toss up in the Congo. Ooh, how about Wolof? We still need to take those guys out, but they're in the French sphere, which really sucks. Gabu? Oh, I don't want to waste stuff with Gabu, but it would look so bad if we don't take him out. Mm. Oh, or Chile? Chile is still at war with... Uh, I mean, we could take out Brazil, probably, at this point, because they're not looking good. Tucolora, Bolivia. That's what we'd like to see. Yeah, they're in the American sphere. Uh, they're allied with Colombia, which is not bad. Any Central American states? No. America, can you please stop sphering everyone? Uh, Guatemala, maybe. Are they allied with the Pope? No, that's Nicaragua. America, will you please annex the rest of America? Why is Canada like that? Hmm. Um. Hmm. Satellite of us. Beautiful. Absolutely delicious. And they have no score, so they can't even revolt to do anything. That's what we like to see. If you can't revolt, they can't have any problems, right? 
Well, can I just full conquest them? Make concession? It's only 7.5%. And we do have access to them immediately, so. And obviously, if I get found out, I'll see you all in just a little bit. All right, everyone, as you can see on screen, we've got the Cass's belly for the secession of territory of the Congolese Lower Congo, which isn't all of the Congo, unfortunately, but I'll still take whatever we can get. Now we've got our ships here. Let's go and move these guys over on to Calabar and go and raise up a few more dudes for the army and get a little bit more spending for the military as well. If I had to do this a little bit too, that's all right. Poor people love, or middle class people, and the poor people love paying for military expenditures. Probably. Well, maybe. Depends on the day. Move you over just a little bit. Thank you. And they have 42 guys here. Now, I can't imagine that these guys would be too... Mm, it could be a little difficult to take out. That's why we'll send both armies in to take Mbanza. Oh, at first I thought that was America. I'm like, yeah, America. Liberia? Ah, I don't know, man. I'm not thinking so. Oh, I don't want to forget this, too. Diplomacy. Who do you take out? Oh, that's right. Ba -ba 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 Bolivia. Oh, we're, oh, that's right. We can't sphere them. Gosh, all right. Hey, actually, I've got three military power now. Hey, not bad. Other comments, Puppet Brazil, of course. Play as Spain. It's quite a bit of support for me to actually play as Spain. Someone also recommends I play as Sweden. Well, maybe we'll play as Sweden someday. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Put you guys over here, too. That'd be good. Uh, yeah, play as Sweden. Uh, we'll see what happens. Come back over here. Can we put another army up around here? No. Uh, that sucks. That's all right, though. In Congo... Put you guys on a boat, and let's head on over to Loango. Build more liquor and wine facilities. Well, I'd like to, but I can't. don't think we can really do that right now. Going to go to war, demand a concession of that. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and move in, and quickly try to move through the jungle, so that we don't get killed by attrition. Hello, where are you going? Living wage. A place to live and escape the weather. Some clothing for warmth and food. Some food, bread, and cheese. One day, perhaps meet a good day. We don't want much. We don't need much. Just some necessities to be able to live and work. A pamphlet has been published in the Tukulor Empire. Detailing the plight of our nation's poor. The pamphlet has gained a fair amount of national attention. And some members of the parliament have started arguing in favor of legislation. Enforcing higher minimum wages. No. <laughs> cool. Push for forward form. Woo! Mm. Well, let's take a look. Is a minimum wage good for the country? Minimum wages more refreshing. Well, it's good for TNO, it's good for us. Oh. Attacking into these guys probably isn't a good idea, but we do have cannons, so and they only have half morale. Well we might be taking over a river, which is not good as either. Yeah, Portugal, I think we'll be okay. Alright. Please stop eh, they're killing out their own soldiers too. <gasps> oh my goodness, do you see that? We're a world power now. Just we become a world power, just don't lose to the Congo. That'd be so bad. <laughs> we become a world power, and then we instantly lose to the Congo. Uh, yeah, you might as well accept them, right? Yeah, that helps out with relations quite a bit. All right, send y'all. Actually, send the other group. Where are they headed to? Boma? Boma. And actually, we want to speed this up, so let's go ahead. And not raise taxes more for now. Let's do this. Get them in the water so we can blockade them, and that'll help speed us up just a little bit more. There we go. And they're done. Uh, sure. Sweet, that makes it look a little nicer. You guys aren't actually looking too bad, so I'll send you to Bonnie. And you guys, you're actually not looking too bad either. Huh. Naval base? In Boma? Sure, why not? Loango? Actually, it's not too bad here for supplies. I'm gonna keep you down here then. Nice! I thought we made up pretty darn well. Which means, we gotta keep going to war with other people. Mmm, Gabu? I think it's just, it's good if we do this. Make a puppet? Uh, no thanks. 139 days actually isn't too bad, so. And like normal, if we get caught, we get found out, I will go ahead and, uh, do some saves coming. Oh, 1868 Arca Earthquake. Oh, that's not good. That kinda sucks, guys. Not gonna lie. Good luck with that, though. Alright, come back to Montevideo. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Oh, they're done. They're done fighting, huh? Argentina looking a little thicker. Ah, I can call them that, that sucks. Oh, now they're with Spain still. Uh, yeah. Oh, they have no military score, though. Wow. Where is the source of the Nile? The Royal Geographic Society has announced that an award will be presented to the first explorer to determine the source of the Nile. Ah, we can afford that, but now we can't afford a lot much else. So, middle class, thank you. You have minimum wages now, so... 
We need more money. We gotta really stock up on some some money, money Reno's. We're not even eighth in the. Wow. Cool. And I could do this. I'll, be, I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone, and we're back once again, and we've got the Gabby, the Gabby, the Gabu concession online. Let's go and go to war before anything else happens. And very good. Thank you very much. Don't need to call in anyone, please. Thank you very much. Go and put them down and have a good time with them. And that'd be great. I'm only going to use one army. Actually, at this point, they probably have no other military. And I don't want to have too much cost. We have only 50,000 pounds, so... I think it's just best if we do it like this. It'll be fine, probably. If we start losing, then that's not good. Also, off-screen, we had Uruguayans rise up against our rule. But we crushed them. There's only four divisions. And actually, that was kind of a sizable one in Mellow, but we still won, so... I love winning. Very good. Gabo is ours. Actually, is that enough just to capitulate them? It is? They make it so, so great. Yeah, they do that. Yeah, why not? Great. Ooh, did you get any new RGOs, maybe? Not... Ooh. Precious metals. I don't think we can do too much here. Yeah. Now with precious metals. Hey, we actually built the factory, though. Nice. Eastern Mali. We're going to hopefully not ruin our economy by subsidizing stuff, but hey, we'll see what happens. All right, next up, we have... Portugal. Portugal, why do you gotta do this to us, man? Portugal. Oh, they're allied with the Brits, so we can't really do too much of them. I'm not gonna do anything against Wolof just because they're in the French sphere. Morocco. It's been a while since we've been in Morocco. Hmm. Hmm. We could do this against Zanzibar, but that is their capital in Mombasa. 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 Hmm. The Horn of Africa. Actually, what RGOs do they have around here? Uh, a lot of grain. Anything interesting? We would take the good stuff from Zanzibar. But anything else? We could take that stuff. Madagascar, tropical wood. Oh, that's not good. You're starting for supplies? What if you go to the coast? You might do better there, maybe. Uh, I'm not really... There's really not much around here in Africa. It's pretty much all probably in the Americas, really. Yeah, I guess we could go to war with you guys again, but do I really want to? Do I need to? Haiti is available. Ooh, that's not bad. They're socialists. Is it really worth getting Haiti? Do they have any good RGOs here? Well, they got some tobacco and some coffee. And let's look at international trade. Uh, our tops imported goods our tea, grain, and clothes. Our tops export goods are livestock, wood, and fruit. Let's take a look. Where is industrial goods, raw goods, consumer goods? Yeah, it's in, kind of in high demand for coffee. Tobacco, though? What about tobacco? Not really. Hmm. Trying to find a place that has good RGOs, that isn't guarded by Americans or great powers, just period. Not super easy. Still not ruling out Chile. They're only allied with Brazil, but actually, they only have four military score. Wow. They only have ten, but fighting in the mountains is going to be so god awful, I'm tempted not to not even do that. Other comments include focus on internal development, use colonization points to fill in the gaps. Yeah, I do definitely want to fill in the gaps here in Togo and Volta and Ivory Coast. Yeah, this is looking god awful. Eh, I guess why not? Morocco. Demand concessions. We can make them a puppet, but I don't feel like it. All right, and the reason why I wanted to cut, I don't want any more infamy, is because eventually we're gonna need a lot of infamy for great wars, and I, it's way ahead in the in the future, I know, but I want to start thinking about cutting it down now. Good, uh, another month so that we can say it's come unfortunately, but whatever. Let's see. Yes, great powers. This is another comment, by the way. Great powers uh, interfere sometimes with nations they have high relations with or are in their spheres. So, yeah, kind of figured that one out, I guess. Uh, when does colonizing begin? Which one was it? Because this is another comment saying that to colonize we need medicine. The second level of guns? I thought it was machine guns eventually that we needed. Uh, oh, there it is. We need the third level, actually. We need colonial negotiations. Okay, so the years before 1880. 1880. So we actually have probably until 1880 to get this stuff done. So that actually makes, makes it a little bit easier. And then we need mission to civilize. So we need ideological. No, we need state government for this. So, that's also very good, though, the years before 1860. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay, not bad. I'm gonna grab this one first, so just because we're at 10.3%, that's not bad. Other comments include you might be able to get rid of Islamic law through becoming socialist. That's apparently that's what I ISP did. Let's see, slave democrats, baby boom. Uh, we're kind of doing okay. I also did suppress some people here too, so hopefully they come back even stronger. Actually, can we get any more reform soon? Anytime? Like, oh no, draft, huh? Busy government. No. We need more liberals. And I guess I'll see you in just a little bit. Well, guys, I apologize for all the fade in, fade outs, but you know what? At 1.6 infamy, I think that's okay. That's good enough. So, and we're making another army. Our war justification is 80 ish percent there. I'll put some more guys on a boat, and then we'll go to war with Morocco and have a good time doing so. Ooh, another month just went by. You know what? I'll give it a few more months first. Let you guys come on in. There we go. We can take another Moroccan state. Because we love Morocco, right? We love Morocco. Because, come on, Casablanca. We need to make you guys even bigger. We're going to go to war by February. We've got some time. I'm not too worried about it, though. As we've got to keep making a bigger and bigger army so our score keeps being kind of artificially, not really artificially, but sort of artificially pumped up. All right. And they'll get over here soon enough. I don't want to spend any more money, but we're going to have to. Oh, boy. That's all right. Good enough. Hey, they came over. Great. Two military score. I think we can take them. I think we can. Looking not too bad. Okay, how about another bigger military? Good. It's going to cost us more money, but hey, we, we got to do it, so. Give us about another month and then we'll go to war again. The world. We still have a factory, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. Oh, also, off screen. Back in November of 1868, we actually were able to get free press. So, this is why education is going to go up. We get more political awareness. Immigrant attraction, you get less suppression points, but whatever. I don't really care about that. And money's starting to be middling. Oh, okay, here we go. We got this again. Debtors' prisons. So we do this, we get more education efficiency. You know, voting. People don't, aren't allowed to vote. Illegal. Social reform desires, not bad. I'm gonna go with debtors' prisons. There we go. Because paying age, eh. You get more throughput and suppression gain, but that's not worth it. Bankruptcy? Bankruptcy might actually help us with money, too, which is pretty good, too. Ah, let's get more population literacy. Go ahead and go to war. Actually, don't do that yet. We want to go through a month, lower our infamy just by a little bit more, because if you're at war, you get less infamy decrease. So, here's minus point one. Ooh, do we want Alrif or Agadir? Either way, Spain probably wants to come kill us. I would prefer that. I doubt there's any good RGOs around here. Uh, fish, fruit, that stuff. But Agadir has fish and grain. That's all I got. I got one, two, grain, boom, boom, grain, grain. Population-wise, they're almost exactly the same. But man, it would be wild if we got access to the Mediterranean. Absolutely wild. Oh, someone already made the Suez Canal. Holy crap. Jesus Christ, UK. Y'all crazy. I'm going to take Agadir just because we can. Uh, yeah, I don't want the Spanish to come knocking on my doorstep anytime soon. Even though they do want to ally us. So actually, I'm going to go straight for the capital. We should do okay. We'll see what happens. Get you guys out on the boats. Oh! Oh, we just go the boats. Very good. You might be able to beat these guys up. You should. It's the mountains. Yeah, but we have like five times their forces, so. I just want Agadir. That's all I want. That's all I want. I'm a, a guy who wants the simple things in life, like south of Marrakesh. Just simple things. Six, five. And also, doing this gives us more prestige, which is good as well, so. Because we, we just got to keep pumping these numbers up. So we can stay in great power status, because right now, we are just above, I think it's Italy, maybe? Or great, or Ottoman Empire, maybe? Who are we above? Ottoman Empire. Italy is not a great power. And, it, and the Ottoman Empire is right behind us, and we are trailing the U.S. by quite a bit of, of uh, support. Let's do, that. Let's do that one first. Almost 11%. Great. I love map painting. It's so much harder, though, to map paint in... Oh, there we go. Yeah in this game than like Hoi 4 or anything like that. Cool. But I think that's where we're going to end today's episode. I've got some other things I've got to do, but regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode in which we took out and puppeted Bolivia, which we still need to re increase our relations with. And we took out part of the Congo. We took out 
even more of Morocco, and I think we're doing pretty darn well. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will make more of Africa ours and maybe continue expanding. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.